friends, I'm Prairie Vintage and I'd love to share my new decks with you guys. So there's actually quite a bit to go through. So I'll be going a little quickly um, or as quick as I can go without getting too lost in the cards. First deck is the Thoth Tarot by Alistair Crowley. So I've been wanting these for quite some time and the box of the cards I normally find are quite standard. This one seems kind of wider than usual. So I don't know if these cards are standard size or not, but I was drawn to the box. So I thought, let's get them now. Let's take a look. These have been around for quite some time. Most of the decks I got are all tarot except for one. So. I will be doing a brief reading uh, for you guys at the end. Um, so we have a guidebook with all the spreads and the definition of all the cards. All the different suits. It looks pretty standard. All right, so this is the back side. I don't know why they're wrapped individually. Let's take a look. So this might be the major arcana. Right there. All right, lots of plastic to get through. Okay, so we have the magician. I don't know where the fool is. Okay, I don't see a fool. We have Magician, or I guess the, the Magus. The Priestess, with the High Priestess. And the Empress. The Emperor. Wow. The Hierophant. The Lovers. Chariots. Adjustment. Which is the... Um, Justice, Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Lust, so I'm not sure, what is this, what is Lust, oh yeah, the Devil, is that the Devil? Why don't I know? Put that aside. Hangman. Death, art, so we have temperance is art, and the devil, so what is lust, and why do I not know what lust is? Eleven, major. Hmm. Interesting. Ten and eleven strength. Oh, duh. Okay. Strength card is the lust card. The devil, the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, and the aeon, which is the world. No, the ju judgment and the world, which is the universe. And judgment and the universe. Oh, and there's the fool. Okay. So we have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Wow. These are all the wand suits. The Page of Wands or the Prince of Wands and the King of Wands. No. We have a prince and a princess. And a knight and a queen. We have no king. Just a prince, a princess, a queen, and a knight. Okay, well, clearly I don't know my thought tarot. So we have wands. Ten of wands. Nine of wands. Eight of wands. Seven of wands. 
Six of Wands, Five of Wands, Four of Wands. Well, looks like what well, more than four. Three of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. So now we're into the discs, which is pentacles. We have the Knights of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Prince and the Princess. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess the hierarchy of that. I just want to see how they... The Knight, the Queen, the Prince, and the Princess. So the Knight would be like the King. Okay, sure. All right, let's keep going. Sorry, I'm going kind of slow because I don't know. I kind of really have been waiting quite some time to see these. All right. So we didn't finish. Um, we were looking at the disc, so we have the Ten of Discs, which is the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, Eight, Seven, Six, Five, Four, Three, Two, and the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so now we have the swords. We have the Knight and the Queen, the Prince and the Princess of Swords, Ten of Swords, keywords at the bottom, and behind that it says Swords. Cruelty with the Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, Seven, Six, Five, Four, three, two, and the Ace of Swords. Wow, that's a beautiful Ace of Swords. And now we're in Cups. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Prince of Cups, and Page of Cups. Or sorry, Princess of Cups. All right. We have the Ten of Cups. Happiness, Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, Five of Cups, Four of Cups, Three of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, beautiful, and just some random. What is this, though? Is this something important? I don't think so. I don't think it is anything except for like an extra cover card of sorts. Okay, well. I can't wait to do a reading with these. They are a little wide. I mean, I picked them because they were wide, but yeah, they're, let's see how hard they are to shuffle. I don't know, I kind of have big hands, but I'm a little hard to shuffle. Okay, one went fine. Let's see which one. Last, the strength card. Interesting. Let's see. What do they have here for lust? It says, this card was formerly called strength. It implies, however, not only strength, but joy and strength exercised. The seven heads of the lion are uh, respectively that an angel, saint, poet, adulterous warrior, sat satyr, satyr, and lion serpent. The central figure is a woman who has surrendered herself to all the forces of creation and who rides astride the beast in her left hand she holds the reins as representing the passions which unites them and in her right she holds aloft the cup of flame 
with love and death. In this cup are mingled the elements of the sacrament of Aeon. In the background are the bloodless figures of the saints on whom this mariage travails, for their whole life has been absorbed into the Holy Grail. Well, that ain't telling me much except for what we're seeing here. So, I guess you all got to use your intuition when you're reading these cards. Okay. I'm not going to get lost, too lost in them. I'll have to do my homework here, but I cannot wait to do your reading. And I'm not sure which cards I'm going to be using um, to do your reading, although I do always make these videos so you guys can energetically infuse these cards with your energy. So when I do future readings, your energy sits with these cards as I open them for the first time. So let's take a look. Um, the next one I have is This Might Hurt Tarot Deck by Isabella Rotman and I thought these looked absolutely adorable so let's take a look at the This Might Hurt Tarot and I got these uh, from the Preferred Perch here in Winnipeg they got a very good selection the bottom of the box cross swords interesting all right oh look at inside i don't know if you guys can see that and inside there very cool okay so the book looks like it's pretty in color standard suits reversed meanings spreads and that's pretty much it all right so it's the back side nice and glossy let's go through these hopefully I can not get lost in these which I say all the time okay fool and I, I apologize if there's glare here I don't know the best way for me to hold these for you guys magician High Priestess, I'll let you guys read it, very cool, covers, that's what's on the cover, Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, what's the back side look like again, cool. Death, oopsie, moon, the sun, the world, and the, and the wands. Okay, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, that's kind of a cool Two of Wands, Three of Wands. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Page, and the Knight of Wands, and we have the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands is a female. I don't know how I feel about that. I like to keep mine pretty traditional, and it looks like this Queen of Wands, I don't know, she's not very feminine to me, but okay. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, it's kind of sticking together, Page of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups, please be a masculine. Well, yay, King of Cups. 
that's cute all right so we have swords ace of swords two of swords three of swords four of swords five of swords the seven of swords the eight of swords the nine of swords the ten of swords and the page and the knight of swords queen and the king of swords cool pentacles three of pentacles four of pentacles five of pentacles six of pentacles seven of pentacles eight nine ten the page the knight the queen and the king and I guess this is just a cover card because it doesn't really have anything. It has the infinity sign. I don't know if this is an extra. Let's see. Oh, it is. It says, this might hurt. We might as well read it. So what does it say? It says, a girl and a wolf cycle between tender affection and difficult struggle. In the upright position, the girl tenderly holds the wolf. In the downward position, the girl and the wolf are locked in a desperate battle. The figures are cyclical with the four symbols of the minor arcana in the corners, suggesting that the struggle and peace are temporary positions in a never-ending cycle. The wolf represents the external world. Risk is inherit. inherent. I don't know. I, I'm having a very hard time reading. In a well-lived life, there will be vibrant joy, crushing pain, and multitudes uh, in between. All experiences that are meaningful, that are truly joyful, can also bring you the most pain. In the downward position with the girl and the wolf fighting at the top, it suggests a time of great difficulty. The external world has bitten you. Times are hard and you are reacting to that hardship. In order to return to equilibrium, acceptance is key. If you fight with what has happened to you, blame yourself or refuse to recognize what is going on. You will add to your own suffering. Accept what has happened and you can become a stronger person. On the other side, able to form meaningful bonds with those who have had similar experiences. In the upright position, uh, with the girl and the wolf at peace on top, it suggests a time of healing. Humans are social animals that evolve to thrive in community. Connection is the key to our survival and our highest goal, and it is connection with others in the world around you that will facilitate growth. Take care of your people, love your world, and you will also be taking care of loving yourself. That's cool. Um, I am being called to pull three cards uh, with this deck for you guys, so I do want to give it a good shuffle here, because we have a few more to get through here, but there is a message coming through. So let's see, what is the message for the viewer here? Spirit clearing concise message. What is it that you're wanting to communicate to the viewer? three cards however they come out with your message that's the first one call to pull the four okay we have the five of swords and it is in the reverse position all right the Ace of Swords in the reverse position. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Empress. Oh my goodness. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. And the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of that in reverse. And I don't read bottom of the deck in reverse in my readings. Okay, so this is interesting because Temperance is all about cohesion. 
bringing two things to alchemize and bring balance and i feel like there's two polar opposites here uh what i'm seeing here because this is probably one of the most challenging cards in the tarot with the five of swords conflict nobody wins it could be somebody self-sabotaging where two people or a group of people have to suffer because of someone's actions and i feel like it in the reverse is either something that has already happened or yeah i am feeling something that has already happened but what i what spirit is showing is that there's a truth that's coming out of this whatever this situation is that i don't think you as a viewer are in the know about here i, I feel like there's something that hasn't yet been communicated here that will allow there to be movement here from something that i feel has been challenging and stuck and maybe where you weren't being provided a whole truth or someone was maliciously intending on keeping you in some sort of confusion so here's the most positive uh one of the most positive cards in the tarot with the empress because this is all abundance so and love so i feel like a situation here that's been very very challenging is slowly coming out of whatever state it is because i do feel as though there was something that was not communicated or not seen in the situation that didn't allow there to be cohesion didn't allow there to be movement from something that was very stuck stuck again ten of cups in the reverse so uh, ten of cups is you know ultimate emotional fulfillment here it is joy and so I, I feel like something was so stuck that it wasn't allowing there to be a potential reach here because of an untruth. So I'm just going to pull one clarifier here before I open up my other tarot. Like, what is this untruth spirit? What is this sort of truth? The Ace of Swords in reverse. Can I get a clarifier for this? I do feel this. No? Yes. Two of Swords and the Page of Swords. More Swords energy definitely about communication and action that wasn't clear and I feel like someone didn't do something they were supposed to do is now coming forward with communication explaining themselves so it allows there to be movement it allows there to be cohesion it allows there to be a movement from challenge to empress which is abundance okay um so yeah, if you are in a situation here where something was stuck or unclear because someone did not communicate or keep things very uh, unclear, this is a card promising communication from someone here who's going to come forward, most likely making something clear so something gets unstuck. All right. Uh, thank you, Spirit, for that message. Cool. Let's um, move on to the next one. I will put these in here. All right, what do we have? We have the Akashic Tarot. And these have been around forever too, and I have them in my Amazon cart, but when I saw them, I just had to get them because I've picked these up so many times and for whatever reason never really went through with it. So today was the day. Today was the day, the Akashic Tarot. Wow, look at this book. This is quite the book. So they have upright and reverse meanings. These cards definitely have very strong reversal and upright meanings. So I'm going to have to get in the know of what these are. But uh, the suits aren't your standard. And even the Major Arcana isn't your standard here. Um... Like, for example, the first major arcana is the Oracle of Delphi. And Akashic Library for card number two, and so on and so forth. Let's look at the suits. So the suits is scrolls. Does it say what they all are? Okay, scrolls I would imagine is wands. But let's see, scrolls, roses... I'm assuming is pentacles 
and forces. The ace of forces, I'm assuming, is swords. I don't know. Let's see. And then keys. So I have cups left, but keys don't feel like cups. Let's see. Maybe you guys already know what this is, and I don't know. A bunch of spreads. Doesn't say there. Okay, maybe we'll pick it up as we go through it. Okay, the suits are scrolls, roses, forces, and keys, which we just read. And, okay, roses are cups because it says a compromise, it comprises of relationships and emotions. So roses are cups scrolls is the mind so that's the swords and keys is pentacles and forces is wands because it's energy and consciousness and natural law okay those are cups okay so back of these ones oh wow it's also nice and wide these feel like really good quality cards but they seem like there's not as many for some reason okay so the oracle of delphi okay that would normally be the magician but like i said these aren't traditional the akashic library the angel of gabriel this would be Empress Energy. Birth. Hilarion. The Divine Physician. Faded Meeting. Oh my goodness. Archangel Raphael. Archangel Michael. The Light of the World. The Ark of the Covenant. The Scribe. The Food of Repairs. Initiation and the Count Saint Germain. The Muse. Beautiful cherry blossoms. Caught in the Runes. The Lookout. Wow. Got a lot of reading to do with these. Up in the air. Reflection. Will, wisdom, and mind. Uriel and the Sphinx. And Adsum. Adsum. So now we have scrolls. And scrolls was swords. One of scrolls. It says on track. Two of scrolls. That's the two of swords two worlds setting your course three of swords karmic trench diversity five of five of swords the sands of time intricacies and industry paths unknown the queen of swords or scrolls the king of scrolls okay it. I guess we don't have all the court cards like we normally do in, in the traditional tarot. So the one of pentacles. No, I'm sorry. Roses is cups. Commitment. Winged messenger. Loving elementals. 
views of the eagle, the garden, War of the Roses, and the journey. The Eight of Cups, it says Shanga Community, the Queen of Cups, and or the Queen of Roses, and the King of Roses. Beautiful. I really like these cards. Okay, the One of, or I guess the Ace of Wands, with the Kashik Field, the Willow, the Bird's Nest, Spring Autumn, Summer Winter, the waterfall balance the lightning bolt the queen of forces and the king of forces the keys which we said was all about pentacles okay so the architect and the treasure the chess game the clearing the clearing the way wishes fulfilled in crescent moon the ascent the master artisan the queen of keys and the king of keys so it's getting kind of dark in here all right uh, i can't wait to do a reading with these as well although i don't feel i'm prepared to use these today so i'm gonna do some studying with this until your next reading let's put that under there so the next deck we have is the Dream Keepers Tarot by Liz Huston. These look um, quite spectacular. They reminded me of the Mystical Moments Tarot. Um, let's see if I have them. Yes, I do. Kind of reminded me of these. Uh, you guys might have seen me use these on my channel. Um, sort of. Is this the same artist? No, it's not. Anyway. It kind of reminded me of it. And so, the only thing I don't like is the size of the box because I, I literally have no space and I don't know what I'm going to do with all these boxes. So I'm going to start storing all these tarot cards. All right. So, wow, look at that. The Dream Keeper's Tarot. This book is crazy so you have keywords you have a message upright and reverse keywords and then what the suit is so cups swords pentacles and wands pretty traditional and all the major arcanas okay let's take a look I'll leave the box here because we might have to refer to the book all right so dream keepers tarot all right the fool The Creatrix. Interesting, that would be Magician. High Priestess. Empress. The Emperor. Hierophant. The Lovers. Wow, look at that card. The Chariot. Strength. The Hermit. The Fates. Which is the Wheel of Fortune. Justice, Hanged Woman, Death, Temperance, and the Devil, Tower, Star, that's what's on the box, the Moon, and the Sun, beautiful, Judgment, and the World. All right, so we have wands, ace of wands. Five of wands, six of wands, seven and eight of wands. The 
I didn't see any court cards. We move straight into the cups. So Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Cups. Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. That's kind of cool. Three of Swords, Four of Swords. Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles and, sorry, why did I say Page of Pentacles? Okay, well, sorry, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is the Page of Wands. So now we have the court cards. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. That's absolutely adorable. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. I really, really, really love these cards. I'm going to give it a shuffle, and I'm going to pull three for a message for you. Taking these, if they want to come out, if they can. What is this message, spirit, for the viewer? Okay. We have the Eight of Wands, communication. I'm assuming you were here in the last little reading I just did. Uh, maybe you skipped it, but I feel the same energy here in regards to something having a breakthrough, some communication happening, which will allow things to move that were stuck. Yeah, things that were stuck. And, and I feel like it provides you with some insight because I feel like you were either in the dark or there was communication or something missing um, that wasn't clear. So there's communication coming that provides you some insights, which allows things to break open. Now we have the three of swords and we have the five of cups in reverse. So I feel like what spirit is showing here, this is some powdery stuff on this. Spirit is showing here the backstory. I feel like whatever it was that we were seeing from the last reading in this video, if you go to the, this might hurt tarot. Yes, um, we saw something breaking forward in regards to communication that you were in the dark. I feel like whatever that was, it's showing a backstory here. It left you feeling heartbroken, okay? Or this is a, a card where we feel separation, we feel sadness. And I feel like it kept you stuck here, looking back on a situation for quite some time. But I, I feel like this communication allows you to break out of any sort of emotional attachments that you had in a situation here due to some communication that allows things to move because I, I feel like it gives you a new perspective that maybe you weren't seeing in a situation or you weren't seeing because you were missing information is kind of what i feel so that information is coming forward um according to what these cards are showing here okay so exciting I wonder if we're going to get the same reading here. Let's see. Okay, so we have the Tarot of Tales by Melinda Lee Holm. And I think the best way to open it would be like that. Again, another big box. I do believe it slides somehow. Oh my goodness. 
one way to open that. The box is cool. The sleeve is kind of cool. Oh wow, look at this book. Hardcover book. All in color. It smells like book. All right, spreads and the major arcana. In the past, the present, the horizon from above and deep within. It looks like they're all set up that way. In the past, it's the present on the horizon from above and deep within. That's really cool. So we have all the majors, uh, cups, swords, wands, and coins. So it looks pretty standard. And then the tarot box. Wow, wow, wow. I am bonding with these cards. I like it. Tarot of Tales. It's the back side. It looks like they're in recycled paper or something. But they're a very good um, card stock. So we have the Fool and the Magician. Very cute. Oh, that's the lovers is a bumblebee. And the fortune. That's cute. Death. Temperance. Devil, the tower, star and the moon, the sun and judgment, the world. So we have the suit of cups, ace of cups, two of cups, that's cute, three of cups, four of cups, that's a weird four of cups, look at that. Five of Cups, Six of Cups. <laughs> it's getting uh, from the movie uh, Ace Ventura where the dolphins in the, um, I think that's a whale though, but in that little makeshift thingy. Anyway, I just got a flashback that was funny. Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups. The Knight and the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Fish people. All right. So Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. Look at that Nine of Swords. Very traditional. Ten of Swords. Page of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords, Bird People. Coins, which are pentacles, Ace of Coins, Two of Coins, Three of Coins, Four of Coins, Five of Coins, Six of Coins. Looks like he's peeing on the side of the road. That's funny. Seven of Coins, Eight of Coins. Nine of coins, ten of coins, page of coins, nine of coins, the queen and the king of coins. Those look like ferrets, muskrats, I don't know what they are, lemurs? Wands, ace of wands, two of wands, three of wands, four of wands. The five of wands, the six of wands, very weird. That lizard is grabbing that guy's private. Okay. Seven of wands, eight of wands. That looks interesting. What's going on there? Nine of wands, also interesting. What's going on there? Ten of wands and page of wands. <laughs> this one makes me laugh. 
<laughs> that's probably the cutest page of wands. It's a, a Komodo dragon juggling sticks. It's very cute. Knight of wands and the queen of wands and the king of wands. Iguanas? This deck is cute, although very interesting. I don't know that I'm totally tapped into this energy right now. Uh, and smoke anything funny, but it's certainly some fantastical world here that I'm picking up with this deck. Um, I don't feel I'm going to be using these to do a reading today either, so I still have these out. So I think your reading might come with the Thoth Tarot. Um, shortly we still got two more decks and i did save the most exciting deck um sorry i don't know that i'm going to be able to put this deck condom back on because it is not going on all right so we have the salvador dali this is the one i'm most excited to see and i have one more which is more oracle cards but for tarot Limited Gold Edition. Aren't you guys like super excited to see what the heck is all about? So, this looks like it got shrink wrapped. Um, I don't know if they were previously opened or not because it does look like it's doesn't look like it has original wrapping. Oh my gosh, the box is velvety for one. Velvety. And very expensive for uh, as far as tarot goes. But I love Salvador Dali, so could not pass it up. And now I don't know how I'm going to open this. All right. Okay. Outside is beautiful. Inside is quite plain. Very skinny little book here. It's like a kid's book. So we have spreads, and we have the major arcana, and and then the minor arcana, wands, coins, swords, and cups. So a pretty brief explanation in all of them. Gold guild on the pages. The book is looks like the box. Let's take a look at these beautiful cards, shall we? Oh, they might have been open. Well, I cannot promise you that you guys are the first to see these. And I do not like when my tarot cards are open. I will ask spirits to clear the energy in these cards. Return to sender. Okay, I think we're okay. All right, so El, Ma El Mago, Magician. High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor. Look how long these cards are. The High Priest, the Lovers, Chariot, Justice, Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Strength, Hangman, Death, Temperance, Devil, Tower, Star, Moon, Sun, Judgment, The World, and The Fool. Yes, we were missing The Fool. All right, so now we have the court cards. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands. Cool, so they're just images. Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Cups. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Page. Dolly. Ace, the two of cups, three of cups, four of cups, five of cups, six of cups, seven, eight, nine, 
10. The Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. The Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Swords. Now, I don't know if this is all Salvador Dali paintings because they're all signed Dali, but I'm sure Salvador Dali did not make a, a tarot deck. And now, now I must just take a look. Dali Weber was the first well-known painter to create a completely new set of cards created in the early 1970s. So, apparently, Salvador Dali made these tarot cards. Okay, I thought they were mostly just based on artwork of Salvador Dali, but uh, what do we have? Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Queen of Coins and the King of Coins. Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Ace and two. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. And then just these cover cards here. Universal Dolly, it's called. Okay. Um, they're okay. I don't know. I, I don't really like cards with borders for some reason. And I know I, I was complaining about that in my videos. Because borders... That's funny because today I, I saw a deck that said borderless edition. So someone out there too doesn't like borders for some reason. It kind of makes me... It throws off my intuition. It makes me feel like I'm inside story or something okay I uh, don't feel like I'm gonna use those either for your reading but one more deck sacred geometry healing cards look at these now they didn't show me anything in the back so I kind of took a flyer and read the back and thought yeah this does sound quite interesting sacred geometry is the light language of the universe and is the building blocks of creation so, why not? Emily Kisvarda. Healing Cards. Wow. Look at the book. Remarkable. Platonic Solids. Ancient Sound Frequencies. Wow, Zers. Remarkable Healing. Rebirth. All right, so what is all this? Animal correspondence. Okay. And then we have the chart here. Platonic solids reference table. Platonic faces. Tetradon for hexadron. Hexahedron six. Oh my gosh, I cannot say any of that. I don't know what I bought. Ta-da! This is what I bought. <laughs> There's a lot of cards in here. Oh my goodness. All right. So, oh my goodness. It's blue. All right. So the box is, uh, it's I. I mean, it's not the prettiest. The book is quite spectacular. I got lots of reading I'm going to be doing. And then the cards themselves, they look a little bowed, but I love the blue. And look at the back. Phoenix Rising. Let's take a look at them. Awakening. Akashic Records. Conscious Evolution. Oh my goodness. Ancient Sound Frequencies. Dream Weaver. Laying foundations, manifestation, love frequency, self-love, soulmate connection, mark of the healing, healing all levels of being, pineal activation, awakening the pineal gland, 
Raven magic, release fear, heightened intuition and protection. Rebirth. Shape shifter. Take hold, inevitable change. Unlimited potential. Consciously creating reality. Genesis pattern, planting the seed. Egg of life, key to our blueprint. Flower of life, cocoon stage. Fruit of life, spheres of knowledge. Metatron's cube, the all, and the Akashic records. Wow, that's quite profound. Here we go with the hex... I'm sorry. Hexahedron. Laying our foundations. Hexahedron. Nurture and create. Tetrahedron. Take action. Octahedron. Unconditional love. Isosahedron. Icosa? Icosahedron. Speak your truths. Icosahedron. The, the, the feminine divine. Wow. I'm getting lost in these. Dodecahedron. All seeing and knowing. 174 hertz. My body is safe and loved. 285 hertz. Optimal health and well being. 396 hertz. Liberates guilt and fear. 417 hertz. Change, cleanse, traumatic experience. 528 transformation and mir miracles 639 hertz reconnect and relationships to self and others 741 expression 852 intuition and wisdom 963 hertz true state of being balance and rebalancing it feels so soft believe have faith clarity stay clear and focused expansion evolve and expand Foundation, create stability, fulfillment, connect to the all, gratitude, acknowledgement of our blessings, grounding and anchoring, staying grounded, harmony, sorry, I don't know how far I'm wandering here, I just don't want the light to rebound off this, harmony, create harmonious surroundings, inner child, acknowledge the inner child, joy, create joy and happiness, meditation, connect to a higher wisdom, protection safeguard yourself reflection reflect upon life experience surrender release resistance and control vitality energize your whole being and then wisdom gain greater insight that's what's on the box i really really like these cards a lot they're very cool i'm going to do your reading and i will be using these and i will be using the toth or thoth tarot to do your reading all right, so before I get into that, I do want to shuffle these oracle cards. Spirits, for the viewer, what are they needing to know? Can we get a message here for the viewer? Something they're absolutely needing to know right here, right now. Thank you so much. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good. All right. Well, it'd help if they weren't so bowed, but these cards did come a little bowed, so it's a little hard to shuffle. I will pull two of these. I still feel these are kind of stuck together. All right. They're much better. Spirit, clear and concise message for the viewer. What do they need to know? There's your two. And I don't know how to shuffle these, but I do feel like I need to cut the deck. 
that with those. Not sure that okay. A message for the viewer for the greatest and highest good of the viewer. What are they needing to know right here, right now? What is this message? I feel a few more here. I feel that one. I feel this one. And one more. Wow. What is this message? Let's see. We have clarity. Stay clear and focused. I think you're going to become very, very clear about something very soon here. Meditation connects to a higher wisdom. That was the hangman we were seeing in that last reading I just did. Same energy coming through. Let's take a look because this is supposed to be the deeper reading here. So what do we have? Hangman. Yes. I'm being called to read them all in the upright. Pleasure with the Six of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. The Hermits, strong Virgo energy coming through. We also have Pisces energy. We have the Tower. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. We saw that in the last spread we did. We have Four of Wands. That's his completion. And I don't normally read Four of Wands with completion so much as like a beginning of some stage here of celebration or a rite of passage. Although it isn't a wheel, something's, something's returning, um, a renewal and something, another chance at something here in the Ace of Cups. That's a new emotional beginning. Okay, so this message is very clear, and I don't know that this is anything new from the last few readings I did here. I'm still getting the exact same energy, so I feel like you're going to find out some piece of information that I don't think you had Okay, and, and I feel like it's going to change things quite dramatically here with the tower, but I feel like it's in a, in a very good way because I feel like where you've experienced disappointment has been in some information that wasn't very clear to you. So I feel like with this information, you're able to digest this and find some sort of uh, peace of mind wherever you were looking back on a situation because I do feel like a situation is coming in kind of as a, a retry here okay with the six of cups and this four of wands but it's, it's sitting in the form of a wheel it's for a new beginning here with this ace of cups okay i do feel your energy coming through as this queen of pentacles this is like i said um virgo energy it's also taurus capricorn but i'm feeling heavy virgo energy queen of cups is the practical queen We see the goat here, um, which is Capricorn, right beside the Hermits, which is Virgo energy, introspection. So I feel like something that was very up in the air, that wasn't moving, that wasn't clear. Uh, you're going to find out some information that provides a lot of clarity in a situation that's happened already. Okay, I feel it's happened already. And I feel it hits very close to home here with this Six of Cups. So this could be regarding a, an old partner, an old classmate, a family member, something that hits close to home. But I feel there was information that wasn't provided or was uncertain or unclear that provided a lot of or that caused a lot of sadness and pain i feel like with the three of swords we were seeing in your other reading if you are here from that reading and the five of cups um five of cups showing looking back on a situation with sadness okay but but it's right beside this nine of cups because i feel like emotional happiness is 
where this whole thing is kind of steering, but I feel like it's been stuck and I feel like you've been in the dark and I do feel like when this happens, there's a need for you to sit with this information because the hangman, the hermit, it's all in, in action, but it's getting very clear with information. But I, I feel like it brings you a, a sense of stability. So maybe you were up in the air about something like ooh, where something was headed for the long term. Like for some of you guys, it could certainly be concluding the in limbo state of something that you weren't sure like signing a, a contract of sorts so you understand kind of the cross the t's dot the i's i feel like it provides you with a peace of mind here but it's something that makes you very emotionally happy but I, I feel like it's something that maybe you tried to do something here and it didn't work and so you thought it was completely done with the five of cups and it was heartbreaking but i feel like there was something you weren't seeing or it privy to that now becomes clear and so I feel like with this connect to higher wisdom and this hangman and this hermit, I, I feel like whatever this is, it provides you with information that you're able to then solidify something here as this queen of pentacles, ground something. And we have pleasure and we have happiness right in the middle. Okay. And I, I do feel like the situation you experienced disappointments, but I feel like whatever that was, you thought it, it had concluded here with completion, but I feel like it's coming back around here to have a new beginning, a new try here. Um, and, and I feel like it's solidified here. And I feel like there was a lot of persistence here with this goat. So I feel like you didn't give up or the situation persisted or it was something that was ongoing and ongoing here. But I, I do feel like it, it kind of went full circle back around here for another attempt in some way but i feel like this light beam is coming from this ace of cups which is like the clarity you now have like i feel like there's clarity now in certainty which ties to emotional fulfillment here that i feel like it was in limbo or was uncertain felt very uncertain okay and you felt stuck in that. I felt it was uncertain. You were in limbo, but I felt you felt very stuck in that sort of energy. And so I do feel you breaking free from that. So it all ties. If you're only here for this reading, you might want to go check out the other decks and um, our video or in this video, the other decks I opened. There's a few more readings there that might be connected. Okay, so that's it. My goodness. Um, I love doing these with you guys for the few of you guys who love tarot as much as I do. I know I'm a little wackadoodle sometimes, um, but I do love, love, love opening these cards with you. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. All right. So I will see you soon. Bye.